Hey guys, it's Ryan Bridge, the Bug Man, and hey, look, man, um, bugs and insects are gonna cycle, and and what that means is, um, look, we had our big wave of white caterpillars, we've had our big wave of chagas bugs, we had our big wave of murder hornets, we have every year there's something. Well, the problem with the spotted lanternfly is it's gonna be every year, uh, much the same way that the cicada killer is gonna, you know punch out the whole murder hornet thing again with everybody um cic yeah, the cicada killers are native and they belong here spotted lanternflies do not um and now our spotted lanternflies here in pennsylvania have matured to where they're full mature and a lot more people are seeing these things they fly and they spread out a lot faster and more and more people are seeing them so with that in mind wgal uh, our local news they called me this morning and they wanted to do an interview so i do not have spotted lanternflies in my actual neighborhood with reliability yet. I know that I know there's some there because because people have found them and they put them on social media, but to a reliable number, I really can't go into my neighborhood and go dig up spotted lanternflies. So I'm actually driving to another place here in the, the very eastern uh, edge of York County to where I know there are some. So I'm gonna be over here by Wrightsville and I'm gonna go get some uh, and I'm gonna contain them and then I'm gonna do the interview uh, with WJL, so I'm taking along with me. We're gonna, we're not looking for black widow spiders this time. We're actually gonna go look for spotted lantern fly. And if you're not familiar with what the spotted lantern flies are, I've got a great YouTube video. You need to go check that out. Uh, as well as I'm bringing it with me today, so you're gonna get to get a little bit of a, a little, uh, tiny bit of of what's going on with spotted lantern flies. And if uh, they're in the numbers that people are saying they're in, this this is gonna be, you know. This is going to be fun for some of you if you've never seen these things occur where they occur. So I'm taking you along, man. That's what we're going to do. All right. So let's get up here. Um, I'm about halfway there now. So let's get up here and see what we can find. I've been told that there's pretty good numbers up here. So this should be interesting. All right, man. Stay with me. Going to get fun. Okay, guys. So went to the property in Wrightsville um, and they're there just wasn't many there um, matter of fact I couldn't find any but I, I know they were there because somebody put it on social media the other day that they found one or two or who knows but um, somebody says they're all over you think they're gonna be all over but I don't know about that so um, I'm now at a park I'm at a community park and I was told that there would probably be some here um, to ignore weirdly enough ignore the Alenthus and which there just isn't much here, which is why not to bother looking for Atlantis. They said, look at walnut and maple, and it's loaded with them. So uh, they weren't kidding. Now, get this thing turn around, show you what we're talking about. Okay, first of all, we're gonna check this out. I can show you a good look at an adult. Now they're they're spooky, so they're gonna they're gonna try and get around the tree as I do this. They might even hop away I don't know but that is an adult lantern fly right there and it's almost a shame that these things tend to be kind of pretty but at the same time they're an invasive so they gotta go you know what I mean um, up here is some there are some probably Four thin star nymphs. Kind of get you a good look at him without it wigging. There we go. Without it wigging out on me too badly. There we go. And there's a fourth in star nymphs, and they're pretty big. There's even an adult right above that nymph. Right there. There's another nymph, and another adult, and another nymph. And this is what it looks like, guys. Um, and it gets way, way, way worse than this even. This tree is so loaded with spotted lanternflies. Um, crazy, crazy. Now, I'm going to go ahead and collect this big old girl. And these things are quick, so you got to be quicker. And she sees me coming already because she's moving. Watch this. I'm going to do this. Yep, there she went. She hopped already. So, <laughs> so there's more hiding right there. There's one. 
<laughs> that's how fast they are and i didn't really try to hold him i'm trying to show you all right there he comes right up my arm and that's a little male but they're somewhat difficult to get here's another here's that female again i can get her gotta go quick there got her all right now check these bugs out they don't bite they don't sting they don't hurt anybody but they got these beautiful beautiful wings check that out all right the problem with these things they're actually quite beautiful and then they're invasive so you know we can't keep them you know as much as we as much as we like pretty bugs versus ugly bugs we cannot keep these things around here man they they do not belong here and they're bad and they're going to be really bad on the grape industry so you get it man this is what we're going to do i'm going to wander around in this this park for a little bit i'm going to try and find myself a few more of these um get myself a good supply of these for the interview today and then we're going to educate some people on some spotted lanternfly so uh, if i get any more trees that are really loaded down in here i will uh i'll set this up and i'll show you those as well because it's pretty impressive when these things come in they come in big all right all right guys so classic example of what we have going on this is a good one um the biggest problem with the spotted lanternflies is the sooty mold that they actually drop down onto the ground it gets onto all the understory and that is a that's a bigger problem than the fact that they feed on the plants because that kills it cuts off all the photo the photosynthesis and it kills stuff check this out this is a good example of sooty mold this is supposed to be green and this is what it looks like so yeah this is what everybody's trees are going to look like this is what all your bushes all your gardens are going to start looking like if we don't find a way to get a grip on these bugs way way better than what's going on now because man uh this is scary scary bad um this is gonna kill this um it, it again it cuts off the photosynthesis and nothing's gonna happen these these trees these trees are just gonna die so all the all the understory turns into this black sooty mold uh from these bugs dripping down out of these trees and again ironically this is a this is another walnut this this isn't an alanthus this is a walnut tree so let me uh there is an alanthus next to it though so i think what happens is i think a lot of the i think a lot of the i think a lot of the spotted lantern flies are bleeding from the alanthus over onto this walnut but still they're dripping down onto the, all the understory this is terrible this elm is this elm is not good but um either way there is a bunch of them over here on this alanthus um and we're gonna go and check that out right now and here we are guys this is what it looks like when spotted lantern flies arrive all right the whole tree and you can see every now and then you'll see you'll see the the honeydew that they that they push out it's it's literally dripping all over me right now i keep getting hit by it it's gross all right so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna collect a bunch of these and then we're gonna we're gonna get out of here this this is what's coming to a neighborhood near you guys very soon we're all going to be dealing with this all right no joy all right man so that was pretty easy actually um you know you got to walk a little bit and you got to look a little bit but when you find them you find them uh and it's bad so you know what i got some got some bugs for the interview um, that should make things go a lot smoother with WJL and the interview today. And uh, hopefully you guys got a taste, just a tiny little taste of spotted lanternflies. What is coming to your house soon? All right, guys, you know what? You know, find me on YouTube, find me on Instagram. I got to get rolling. Be well, be safe, be kind. Angry, angry, angry world out there, man. Take care. See you. Bye.